Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're checking out the brand new Moto Z4. And yes, it's all about gaming. So we're checking out Call of Duty Mobile. But before we get into anything, let's see some fun stuff. So the Moto Z4 is a brand new device for Motorola and we'll get to gameplay in a second, so just hold on. And if you're watching us for the first time, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button because you're definitely gonna enjoy this video. So the Z4 is the latest in the Z line. It retails for 249 with a two-year contract on Verizon, really cheap. You can get it with a 5G mode for 459, which makes it one of the cheapest or the cheapest 5G device on the market here in the US. And you can get it with a Moto Mod unlocked for $4.99. So whatever you wanna do, you can do that uh, with the Moto Z. Now, of course, it's a Z, which means you've got the Moto Mod pins at the back, which is nice so you can add different mods to it. We've got the 360 camera mod. We've got a 48 megapixel camera in the back, the new Sony Sunset everyone's using. It has a 3600 milliamp battery, so a big battery. So battery life is key, especially while gaming. And I have to say, uh, this did a really good job. Headphone jack at the bottom, that's great. USB type C also, which is nice. Got fast charging with 15 watt charger. Uh, then you've got a mono speaker at the top. It's a little downside, but again, this is a, this is a budget device, 249 in price. If you think about it on Verizon, where you're powered by the Adreno, so you're powered by the Snapdragon 675 processor with an Adreno 608. So it's a mid-tier processor. It should give you a lot of punch into your gaming. Four gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, expandable via micro SD. Now that does display houses a uh, 6.3 inch display, 2340 by 1080p. So it's also got a dimple notch, which is nice. So it gives you a lot of room for your gameplay. Now, Call of Duty Mobile doesn't take full advantage of that, but we'll see that in a second. So you're wondering, okay, let's get into gameplay. A couple of things. Call of Duty Mobile beta is a beta. You need a VPN, but I found a way to cut my lag down. I'll leave the link for the video that I used. Uh, pretty awesome video uh, for me to use to cut down the lag. But I will tell you it's mobile. It's a beta device, so not everything should be actual here. We'll give you some temperatures as well on the system, and we'll see how well it runs. So let's go ahead and check out some of that gameplay. died out of the safe zone. So as you can see, this handled Call of Duty Mobile pretty well and lag gone, so this thing ran really smooth. In terms of temps, we ran max about 94 degrees on the device while measured, which is actually pretty cool. But also just to note, this did not go to max settings. So it went uh, a, a setting below that. Um, so you're not getting max settings on the system, but it still looked really good. And we ran very smooth for the most part, especially uh, the, only, the only times you saw glitches, I would say mostly is when you're transitioning between vehicles, it, there's a little stuttering there. Some scenes in firefights, but again, it was definitely payable at the max settings that this device will handle. I enjoyed it. The large display is also really nice, uh, giving you a lot of real estate to see. That dimple notch is also cool. The only fact that, of course, the game doesn't take full advantage of it yet, 
because it's a beta so don't worry about that that should be fixed when it's out the mono speaker on the other hand is it's loud the only problem is you will be you will interfere with it especially it's weird location on the very top of the device other than that though this handle gaming really well i do like it uh, i believe it's be available on june 10th so at that time um, you guys can definitely pick up a Moto Z4. If you're a Verizon customer, it's a great deal at $249 um, and also a great way to get into 5G at a cheaper price point. So there you have it. That is Call of Duty Mobile on the Moto Z4. If you have any questions in comments, let us know. Oh, you're wondering, battery life. Battery life was pretty good. 3600 uh, 3600 milliamp hour battery life uh, is pretty good. Uh, I would say I drained about maybe for that whole gameplay session which I went through, maybe about 10%. So it really handles battery really well. And you're running close to stock Android, Android 9 on this device. So any questions guys, let us know. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like icon, and always enjoy your entertainment.